Hi, so this video is going to be going over how I tone my hair after I've bleached it at home and get some of the brassy yellow tones out um, using some products that I found to work really well. So hopefully you enjoy the video and find some of the products helpful. I'll try to put some information um, in the description box so that you can locate some of them. Um, just so you know, I am not a professional hairstylist or cosmetologist. Um, I've just done this for myself for a long time and um, I really like these products so hopefully you will too. Okay so you'll see here are the roots that we're going to be correcting the color on. Um, they're pretty much a bright yellow right now after bleaching them. Um, that was about 45 minutes with the bleach and that's about as light as I can get it to go here at home. And yeah, that's kind of scary, but it's true. Here we go. So I do use the Salon Care 10 volume, and this is the Paul Mitchell Ultraviolet Flash Toner that I get off Amazon. So you're going to do equal parts on those products. And I just use an old hair color bottle from a drugstore box I'd had. I really like this container, so here's the mixture looking really crazy. And we're about to get started. So you'll see that uh, you might be scared when you first put this one on because it totally turns purple immediately. But don't worry, it'll be okay. So I just section off uh, the different areas of my roots and kind of just rub it in. This is applied to towel dried hair so it's really nice how it just feels kind of like a shampoo going on and um, it mixes in really easily and doesn't take a lot of effort to kind of blend it into the hairline. So I'll just section that off and go through making sure that I cover each area of my hair. And to the other side, same thing, and my hair is kind of crazy sticking together because of the bleach I just did and towel drying it, but this stuff is really pretty gentle on my hair. It doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. The only thing I would say with this product is be really careful not to drip it on any surfaces or clothing that is a uh, light color. I had to actually bleach or uh, stain my bathtub, so be careful about that. And that's why I went with the purple robe. I don't really mind if it gets purple on it. You just want to work it into all of your roots, and you're going to let this sit on there for longer than the rest of the hair if the other hair is already toned. So after about 20 minutes, I went ahead and added some conditioner with a little bit that was left and I'm applying that all the way down to my roots and I'm going to leave that on for about 10 additional minutes and that's just something that works specifically for my hair so that it doesn't look too crazy on the ends and that the roots had enough time to really take that color in. Ooh, looking fancy! Okay, so here we are with the after product and you'll see it that it is only slightly, slightly yellow but it's so much better than it was, and I'm usually so excited at this step. So, I'm brushing it out. Okay, so now here is my hair after I've blow dried it, and you'll see the color looks a lot more uniform once it's dried and it definitely looks a whole lot better than it did before I started. So hopefully you might get a similar effect if you try these products, and if not, uh, don't blame me, but uh, definitely check with a professional if you're scared to try this yourself, but it's definitely a process that I found to work for me. So hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Stay spiffy.